Holiday greetings, friends. It's Nathan of Guardian Project. I'm here with some exciting news for this holiday season. Today, the Filecoin Foundation for the Decentralized Web is announcing their grant to us to support our efforts to integrate decentralized storage into our free and open source software solutions and services that focus on preservation of essential media, open access to free software applications that focus on privacy and security, and empowering us to have the time and means and resources to really understand how emerging decentralized web technologies of all kinds can be beneficial to the human rights community, internet freedom community, and everyday people looking to protect their content and devices and communications. So we're really excited to announce our DVD project, Decentralizing Veracity and Distribution. Lots of big words here. First of all, um, we are generally have not been on the sort of coin and crypto hype train, but where there's benefit to the work we do in the communities we work with, real benefit, we're excited to, as always, find ways to adopt emerging technology. Filecoin was developed by Protocol Labs, who also have built the and designed the Interplanetary File System, IPFS, which some say is a replacement for HTTP. We're optimistic about that because it has a lot of great properties um, that could actually benefit people over HTTP. But we're also optimistic about Filecoin because its approach to proof or what we've heard in the past with other coin systems called proof of work, which is not very envi environmentally friendly. Instead, they have proof of storage and proof of space time, which is sort of proof that you are storing something, um, replicating content. And this is actually a lot more um, in line with our views on responsible computing in the age of climate change. Now, the work they're specifically supporting are applications you hopefully already know and love. First, proof mode. Proof mode is software we've been developing for in various forms from Camera V to Informicam for almost a decade in partnership with Witness, um, the human rights media organization, and others. And what proof mode does is really in, aligned with the idea of resilient storage, sort of self-verifying addressing of content. And so our hope is that we can make it easier for people to capture evidence, eyewitness reports, document things that in their daily lives they want to be able to prove and verify and have that persist in a way that's sort of seamless, secure, private and empowering and not just say, well, you've got the proof now, upload it to Google or Dropbox or some sort of legacy storage provider. So we'll be looking at that as well as how notarization can happen, of other people signing content, saying this does exist at this time, of others in an affinity circle around you storing your proof in a way that is safeguarded from one point of failure or compromise. We're also excited through this work to be continuing to work with our partners at Witness, Open Archive, Starling Labs, Numbers Protocol, and the Content Authenticity Initiative that has been led by Adobe, Microsoft, and Witness and others. Really, we believe every, in a future where every camera has a proof mode and that the user is empowered to, to maintain control of that data evidence until they need it to support their seeking of justice or basic rights that they have of any kind. The other exciting part of this work is distribution, which is supporting F-Droid. F-Droid is the leading free and open source privacy-focused app publishing platform for Android apps today, but we expect more in the future. We've done a lot of work there with 
decentralizing F-Droid already. It supports repos in many places, mirrors uh, and onion addresses, local Raspberry Pi boxes, flash drives plugged into your phone. So F-Droid is already quite decentralized, but by mm -hmm. adding support for IPFS, that adds another layer of the ability to ensure people can access curated repositories of software safely, securely, and in a way that can you know, be more resilient than a single server or storage location going down. So adding IPFS support, adding more peer-to-peer -peer support for app curation, distribution, and sharing is something that makes us um, really excited. And we have a whole roadmap there you'll be hearing about from Hans Christoph Steiner, who leads our work with F-Droid. So this is, yeah, a big deal for us. And we're really happy to have this as a gift in this holiday season. We really are grateful for the support of the Filecoin Foundation of the Decentralized Web. And we are proud to be representing many in the human rights, humanitarian, internet freedom, freedom communities who are interested in this emerging technology, but skeptical and need people like us to dig in and see if this kind of technology is for real, if it respects rights, if it has ways to deal with harassment uh, and abuse, if it has ways that everyday people can participate without being at financial risk. Um, there's so many questions we have. And we're really excited because the team at the foundation is really smart, really cares, has a lot of people you may know from other organizations and other work they've done. And we think it's a great opportunity to collaborate on these, these important questions and to find ways to bring real value to people in the world um, with our partners like Witness and Open Archive and Starling and others. So yeah. So stay tuned, more details each week, but you can already see code, tickets, issues in the F-Droid project, proof mode, roadmap, all of this is gonna be quite transparent what we're working on and we're looking for people to collaborate with us and provide guidance. Um, we also have been working with the Matrix uh, Foundation and Protocol deeply and we're really excited. How do we bring those worlds together? Um, and um, looking at everything, you know, all the other uh, technologies out there that are imagining a more secure, less centralized future. We think that's a, a good solution for the internet. Um, it challenges that we've been working on for a long time. Actually, not a solution. A good remedy, defense, possibility. That's really what it is. We're all continuing to work every day at Guardian Project on bringing these technologies to regular people around the world who really need them. So thanks for all your support and interest. More soon.